key seven o'clock on the dot so we're gonna get started hello good to see you I ask that we hi I ask that we gather any supplies that we may need today maybe we can dull our lights maybe we can grab some water Once we find our supplies that we need today, I ask that we come into a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in an easy seat. I ask that we find that seat. As we gaze our eyes down, maybe take nice, deep, intentional breath in. through the mouth maybe you noticed how that breath relaxed and soothed the mind and body may we breathe in deeply exhale fully breath to help us relax and soothe here today. Maybe we can ensure that our tummies are nice and tight. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Our spinal cord is nice and long. We don't want to be sunken down. We want to be nice and straight. Always having control of our bodies. As we breathe our palms at heart center, seated prayer, breathe in deeply, exhale fully, as we continue to gaze down, as we use the down gaze to help center us, to help us become more present in this moment. We may notice that our minds and our bodies are starting to become settled at peace, at ease. Maybe. As we breathe our palms above our head and our salute, reaching our fingertips up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch in our spinal cord. As we, as we exhale down to prayer, flowing our legs straight in front of us, we're gonna find our bodies in a staff pose. Ensuring our tummies are nice and tight, our backs are nice and long. As we breathe our palms up above our head in our salute, exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold, allowing our torso to relax downward towards our thighs. Maybe we can close our eyes in this position, using this pose to help us become centered. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. As we exhale back up to our staff pose, checking in with our bodies, breathing our palms above our head and our suit. Exhale to prayer. Allowing our thumbs to relax on our sternum, on our chest. Backs are nice and straight, continuing to gaze down. Noticing how we feel in our body. As we flow into a cow face, we're going to take our right leg and bring it underneath our left leg. We're gonna come into a cow face this way. Bringing our right leg in towards our buttocks. Taking our left leg and crossing it over our right feet. I'm sorry, our left feet comes towards our right buttocks. We are now in our cow face, if we're able to get into that position. I'm gonna go one more time. 
coming from my staff. Yes, yes, there you go, yes, okay. Taking that foot underneath, bringing the opposite foot across. Now we are in our cow face, maybe positioning our bodies to get comfortable. Checking in with our feet to see how that feels. Nice, deep breath in. Exhale. Relaxing the body. Maybe we notice with each exhale how our shoulders relax down, away from our ears. As we breathe our palms to heart center, we are in our prayer hands. Taking natural breaths. Checking in with ourselves, seeing how we feel. Two more breaths. Staying in our cow face legs, we're gonna do a seated twist right side, releasing our hands and twisting over towards the right, gazing over that right shoulder. Noticing how this twist relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Exhale back to center. As we flow, seated twist opposite side. Gazing over that opposite shoulder. Noticing how our spinal cord relaxes, decompresses. center, breathing our palms above our head, exhale back to prayer hands, now if anyone chooses to go into that complete cow face, we can, by taking one of our hands and bringing them up in the air, fingertips going towards our shoulder blades, taking the opposite hand, bringing it behind our backs, and our fingertips interlace behind our backs, now we are in our complete cow face. Noticing how this opens up the shoulders. If anyone cannot come into this complete cow face, we can continue to keep our hands at prayer center, at heart center. As we gaze down, noticing how we feel in our bodies. As we exhale out, releasing our hands, breathing our palms above our heads, seated salute, using this pulse to relax and soothe. Exhale down to prayer. As we flow our legs into a butterfly or a diamond, our feet are bounded together, connecting our feet. As we push our chest up, our chin comes up. We're gonna come into a seated cat cow. Moving our bodies at our natural breath. In our seated cat cow, our chest comes forward, our chin comes up. We are in our cow. Exhale into our cat, our chin comes towards our clavicle. Our spinal cord comes to the back. We're gonna do a couple of seated cat cows to our natural breath. Finding our pause at center as we use our hands to bring our legs inward. We're gonna slightly lift our feet up off the floor, noticing how that's working our core, our abdominal muscles. Yes, we're gonna reach down with our right hand connected to our right foot, straightening out that right foot. We are in our half bear pose. And if this feels good, we can take our left hand, reach it down to our left foot. We might gotta bend our knees a little and bring both feet out to the side. We are in our bear pose or a boat pose variation. 
Noticing how this pose relaxes. It also balances our bodies. It also stretches our thighs, the backs of our legs. We're gonna hang out here for more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs back in, coming back into our butterfly, relaxing our bodies. Using our hands to push our legs in as we flow into our tabletop. Coming to our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, our back is sunken. Our chin is slightly up. Noticing how this feels as we flow to our cat. Our chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cords go up in the air. We're gonna do a couple of cat-cow rotations to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Finding our pause as we do a thread the needle starting on the right side. Bringing that right arm out to the side. We can reach up in the air if we choose and we can thread that right arm through our left as our chest, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Relaxing down, maybe we can close our eyes using this pose to help us go inward. And if we wanna go deeper in this pose, we can wrap our left arm around our backs, noticing how this feels. Eyes gaze down. We're gonna hang out here in this pose, five natural breaths. more breaths as we slowly unwrap that left arm unthreading that needle coming back to our table dropping down to our cow exhale into our cat flowing back to table as we thread the needle opposite side left arm goes out to the side we're gonna thread that left arm through the right allowing our chest to come downward towards the earth we can go deeper in this pose, wrapping that right arm around our backs. Eyes are gazed downward as we find our bodies relaxing here. Natural breaths. We're gonna hang out here in this pose. Four more breaths. As we unwrap that arm, unthreading that needle, coming on back to our table, lowering our bodies down to our cow, exhale to our cat. As we come back to our table, we're gonna bring our right leg towards the back nice and high, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch there. And if you choose, we can do a couple of leg pulses, noticing how we are working our gluteus maximus using this pose to lengthen, I'm sorry, to strengthen and round our gluteus maximus. As we find our pause, we are gonna flow into our bird pose, but if anyone has any issues with balance, we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth. If that feels good, simply just lower your toes down. Yes, leg is up and then just lower your toes on down, straight on down. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go, right there. If you have any balancing issues, Otherwise, we can keep our leg up in the air. To go into our full bird pose, we're gonna take our left arm, bringing that left arm forward, feeling that balance. And once again, if you have any issues, you can lower that, those toes on down to the earth. Our tummies are nice and tight here. Noticing how we are working our right arm. We are balancing our bodies, 
We are keeping our core nice and tight and we are also working our gluteus maximus. This pose hits a little bit of every muscle. We're gonna hang out here five more breaths. Two more breaths. Almost there. Before we flow, coming down, we're gonna bring our right knee to our left elbow, feeling that crunch. Left knee to elbow, yes, bring it in. Feel that crunch, hold it, back to bird pose. Bringing that leg back, arm comes forward. One more time, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. One more time, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, holding it in. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, back to bird. Feeling the crunch. Two breaths, we're gonna hang out here. Exhale, back to table, relaxing the body. Dropping down to our cow. Chin comes up, back is sunken. Exhale to our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes up in the air. Back to our table. As we flow to bird pose, opposite side. Left leg goes out to the back, nice and high. Maybe we can do a couple of leg pulses, working our gluteus maximus on the opposite side. Rounding our butt here. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. We can always lower our toes down to the earth if we need to. As we flow our bodies to that full bird pose, bringing our right arm out in front of us, left legs to the back, tummies nice and tight. Noticing how we are now working our left arm. Core is nice and tight. Gazing forward, feeling our body's balance and strength in here. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, holding it in. Three breaths, feeling that burn. Back to bird. Hanging out here, two more breaths. Exhale, back to table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Blowing back to our table. As we use our bodies, our hands to push our bodies up to our first down dog. We're working our upper body. <sighs> Using our hands to push our torso towards our legs, feeling that stretch nice and deep. Gazing back at our feet if that feels comfortable for us, noticing how this feels. Maybe we can pedal our feet, walking our dog, noticing how that loosens up our inner thighs and our hips. Two more breaths. We can stay still if we choose. As we flow upwards to our high plank, finding our paws coming into our high plank, we are working our arms here, noticing how this feels. As we exhale back to down dog, gazing back at our feet. We're gonna flow to our up dog. Coming up to high plank, flowing our bodies all the way up, chest comes up, our thighs are off the earth. Chin is slightly up, feeling our arms working here. Th yes, that's it right there, yes. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. We are building strength in our arms. Two more breaths. Exhale back to down dog. Working our bodies, noticing how we are building strength here. Gazing back at our feet, pedaling our feet if that feels good for us. Finding our paws, coming back to that high plank, working our arms. Flow into an up dog. Gazing up at the ceiling, if that feels good. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. Exhale back, down dog. Feeling our bodies getting nice and warm here as we gaze back at our feet. If anybody's arms are getting tired, we can flow on down to our dolphin, which is coming down on our forearms. If we need. <sighs> Hanging out here, two more breaths. 
<clears throat> Noticing how we feel in our body. As we lift our right leg up in the air, we are in our three-legged dog. Gazing up at that right foot. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Working our arms here, back to three-legged dog. <sighs> right knee to right elbow. Back to three-legged dog. One more time, right knee to right elbow. Feeling that burn here, working our arms. Back to three-legged dog. <sighs> Gazing back at our foot. Exhale to our pigeon, bringing our right foot in front of us, folding it in front of us, coming into our pigeon, relaxing the body here, <sighs> using our hands to push our bodies up away from the earth. Noticing this is a slight back bend here. We don't want to sunk down just yet. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, noticing how that relaxes and soothes our spinal cord. Exhale and back to center. As we now slow down to our sleeping pigeon, bringing our hands in front of us if we choose, gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes, using this moment to relax and soothe. Natural breaths. Allowing the down gaze and the breath to regulate our heartbeat. Feeling our bodies, checking in within. We're gonna hang out here in this pigeon. Four more natural breaths. Slowly awaken our pigeon, using our hands to push our torsos up off the earth, slightly gazing over that right shoulder, noticing how that relaxes and soothes our spinal cord. Exhale back to center as we push our bodies up back to our down dog, gazing back at our feet, maybe cuddling our feet, walking our dog. As we flow to three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg goes in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at our foot. Feeling a stretch here. Three more breaths. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Left knee, left elbow, holding it in. Back to three-legged dog. <sighs> Breathing forward, coming into our pigeon, bringing our left leg in front of us. Right leg goes to the back, using our hands to push our torso up off the earth. As we gaze over that left shoulder, noticing how this relaxes the spinal cord. Exhale back to center as we flow down to our sleeping pigeon, using this pose to relax and soothe. Push our bodies up out of our sleeping pigeon. We're gonna bring our right leg that's behind us. We're gonna just swing it to the front of us. Yes, swinging it in front of us, finding our legs back into a cow face just for a second. Noticing how this feel here in our cow face. Can't get out the way. 
And we're gonna work on a Lord of the Fish pose, which is a pose that we flow into when we come from the cow face. If we're in the cow face, we got our right leg underneath and we got the left leg on top. We're gonna start with the same side, yes. In this pose, we're gonna keep our right foot towards the back and our left leg, we're gonna just slightly allow our left foot to be flat on the earth. Yes, noticing how this feels in our body. And if this feels good, we're gonna take our left hand and bring it behind our backs, placing it on the mat, mat with our fingertips facing away from us. We're gonna take our right elbow and cross it over our left knee. And we're gonna gaze over that left shoulder. Nice and deep, noticing how this, this is a deep spinal cord stretch. This pose here is called Lord of the Fish Pose. We're gonna hang out here in this pose if we're able. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Taking nice natural breaths. Allowing this pose to relax and decompress our spinal cord. Five natural breaths. Untwisting our bodies, relaxing our bodies, unwrapping our leg and switching sides with our Lord of the Fish pose. So we're gonna now have our left foot underneath our right leg. Yes, we're gonna take our right leg and cross it over our left foot. We're working on the Lord of Fish pose on the opposite side. We're gonna take our right hand and bring it behind our backs, palms on the earth, fingertips facing away from us. We're gonna take our left elbow and cross it over our right knee. We're gonna gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that deep spinal twist. We are in our lower of the fish pose, opposite side. Nice natural breaths. Using this pose to relax and decompress our spinal cord. center untwisting our bodies bringing our legs straight out in front of us coming into a staff pose fixing our bodies as we breathe our arms above our head and our salute exhale to prayer as we flow to a forward fold gazing our eyes down natural breath Noticing how this pose relaxes our spinal cord, relaxes our mind. Two more breaths. As we flow back up to our staff pose, <sighs> noticing how we feel. We're gonna now take our right leg placing our right foot flat on the earth, our knee is in the air. We're gonna work on a Sage Marici. Lifting our right arm up in the air, leaning slightly to the left, leaning forward, and wrapping our right arm around our leg. Yes, we are in our Sage Marici here. If we wanna go deeper in the pose, we can take our left arm, bring it behind our backs, and interlace our fingers, yes. Noticing how this feels in our body. If anyone needs to bend their leg inward, you can always bend your leg inward as well, or you can keep the leg out. Either way, it's a Sage Marici. We do what feels best for our bodies. We're gonna hang out here. Three more breaths. As we uninterlace our fingers, unwrapping that leg, Coming back to our staff pose. 
breathing our palms above our heads in our salute. Exhale to our prayer as we hand it our hips, seated forward fold. Three breaths. Exhale back to staff. Sage Marici, opposite side. Left leg goes up, left foot goes flat on the earth. Left arm comes up, slightly lean to the side, lean forward as we wrap this left arm around that left leg. We are in our Sage Marici. If we wanna go deeper, we can take this right hand, wrap it around our backs, interlace our fingers behind our backs, going into that deep stretch. Noticing how it stretches our spinal cord, it also relaxes our hips. Gazing our eyes down if we choose. Natural breath. Two more breaths. As we uninterlace our fingers, unwrapping that leg, Coming back to our staff, breathing our arms above our head in our salute. Exhale to prayer. Forward fold. Exhale back to staff. As we come into our tabletop, tummies are nice and tight here. Knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Pushing our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our legs. Feeling that stretch even more. Coming to our high plank. Flowing down to our low plank or our chaturanga. As we come to a cobra, relaxing our shoulders away from our ears. Exhale, up dog. Breathe down dog. As we come into a complete forward fold. Relaxing our bodies over our legs, allowing our head to fall over. Noticing how this feels in our body. And if we choose, we can go into a rag doll by hugging our elbows with our hands. Noticing how that feels. We're gonna hang out here in this position for a couple more breaths. Simply using this pose to help us relax and go in. As we exhale to half forward fold, Breathe it back down to complete forward fold. Half forward fold. As we flow to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, our palms are at our side. Checking in, noticing how this feels. As we breathe our palms up above our head, we are in our standing mountain or extended mountain. Nice deep breath as we lean our bodies to the right, standing crescent moon, feeling the side bend. Exhale back to center. Crescent moon, opposite side, leaning the body to the left, feeling that side bend. Exhale back to center. Breathing our palms at heart center. Bending our hips, coming down to a chair pose. Tummies nice and tight here. We are now working our quads, our legs. We can have our hands at heart center or we can extend our arms straight in front of us. Whatever feels good for you. Four more breaths. Body's getting nice and warm now. Two more breaths. Chair pose, twist right side. Twisting our bodies to the right. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Cheer pose, twist left side. Exhale 
exhale back to center. Flow into a complete forward fold. Noticing how this relaxes the knees. <sighs> exhale, half forward fold. Breathe back to Atadasana. <sighs> to our standing. Salute, or extended mountain. Exhale the prayer. We're gonna hinge at our hips with our prayer hands. As we walk our hands forward, coming into our down dog. <clears throat> Gazing back at our feet. As we breathe the three-legged dog, right side. Right foot's in the air, nice and high. Right foot, right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Checking in, noticing how we feel. As we push our bodies up to our warrior one or high lunge. Working out with thighs, working our legs. Exhale, warrior two. Bring back warrior one or high lunge. Warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior. To extend it side angle. If we don't wanna keep our arm up in the air, we can wrap that left arm around our backs, gazing over that left shoulder. Whatever feels good for you. Twisting forward to the pyramid, straightening out that front leg. We are in our pyramid. Noticing how this relaxes that, that right leg. Our torso is leaning over that front leg. We are in our pyramid. Pyramid. You are in a, you are in a triangle. Pyramid. Forward like a runner's lunge, straightening out that leg. Yes, yes, there you go. Yes, there you go. That's, that's the pyramid, yes. And we can have our leg straight or we can have it slightly bent. Hanging out here, just for a couple breaths. This pyramid pose prepares our mind and our body for split. Maybe we can take a couple of nice natural breaths. Noticing how with each breath, our torso relaxes more or closer to our thigh. Bending that front leg, coming back into that runner's lunge. Noticing how the runner's lunge and the pyramid flows once we bend that leg, we are in our runner's lunge. When we straighten our leg, we are in that pyramid. So each pose kind of like flows right into each other. So runner's lunge, pyramid. From our pyramid, we're gonna come right on back up to that warrior one or high lunge. Exhale to warrior two. As we hinge at our hips, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Allowing our torsos, yes, to come downward. Noticing how this relaxes and stretches our inner thighs. Maybe we can take our hands and reach down towards the floor or our ankles, whatever feels good for us. If we wanna go deeper, we can bound our hands behind our backs and allow our hands to flow above our head. Whatever feels good for you. We also can rock from side to side. We're gonna hang out here in our wide-legged forward fold doing any one of the variations that feels best for your body at this present moment. Six natural breaths. Three more breaths. And if anyone wanna flow into a headstand while they're in their wide-legged forward fold, Feel free to go on over ahead and flow into that headstand. Two more breaths. As we exhale to half while legged forward fold. As we flow to our pyramid left leg, 
first time we had our right leg forward, now we're gonna have our left leg forward. So we are in our pyramid with our left leg forward. Nice natural breaths. Allowing our torso to relax over our thigh. As we flow to our runner's lunge, bending that front knee, coming to our runner's lunge. Exhale back to pyramid. Breathing up to our warrior one or high lunge. We are now working our thighs on the opposite side. Exhale, warrior two. Warrior one. Warrior two. Fail in the flow here as we breathe to reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Crossing that left arm over that left thigh. Our right arm is up in the air. We can always wrap the right arm around our backs and gaze over that right shoulder. Whatever feels good for us. Three more breaths. Breathing forward to our pyramid. Straightening out that front leg in front of us. Relaxing our bodies here, gazing our eyes down, allowing our torso to flow over that leg. Preparing our body for split on the opposite side. Exhale to our runner's lunge. Twisting our right foot to the back like we're going into a warrior two. We're gonna bring our right hand and touch it, touch our, I'm sorry, our left hand to touch our left foot. And then we're gonna come into a triangle. Reaching our right arm up in the air. Noticing how this triangle feels in our body. We can gaze up at our arm, we can gaze down at our hand, whatever feels good for you. Feel in a stretch. Two more breaths. As we come back to that pyramid, walking our left foot to the edge of our yoga mat, bringing our left arm inside of our leg, we are now in our lizard position. If we choose, we can come down on our forearms. Yes, we can actually let me come to the side. So now we are in our lizard. Our left leg is on the outside of the yoga mat. Our left arm is inside of our leg. Now we're in our lizard pose. We can drop down deeper in our lizard. We can relax on that right knee and come down on our forearms. This is a hip opener. This lizard pose prepares that your, your right leg is kind of bent. Yes, straighten it out if you can. Straighten out that right leg. Yes, there you go. Yes, yes. There you go. Now we are in the lizard. Now, if being on the forearms is too deep, we can just be up on our arms like this. Whatever feels good for you in the lizard, also, if anyone want to be on their forearms in a lizard and it's too deep, we can always have the yoga blocks in front of us and relax our arms on a yoga block. And we can, when, when our arms are relaxed on a yoga block, sometimes we can take that knee off the ground. See that there? And now we're in our full lizard. And noticing how this lizard, it is opening up our hips. It is taking us deeper into the stretch and it is preparing our bodies and our mind for our split. So this is what the lizard pose does. We're gonna hang out here for five more natural breaths, allowing our bodies to get used to the pose, ensuring that we are not overstretching our bodies or hurting ourselves. Two more breaths. As we drop to that knee, if we wasn't already dropped, using our hands to push our bodies up, straightening out that front leg, we're in our runner's lunge as we come back to that pyramid. Noticing how every pose flows together, everything's connected. 
Gazing down as we flow back to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Walking our dog, pedaling our feet, noticing how that relaxes and soothes that leg that was just in that lizard pose. Nice deep walks here. Feeling the stretch as we walk our dog. Going nice and deep here. Gazing back at our feet. <sighs> nice deep breath. Bringing our right leg forward. We are in our runner's lunge on the right side. Coming into our pyramid. As we take our right hand to our lower leg, we're gonna come into a triangle on the opposite side. Lifting our left arm up in the air. Gazing up at the left arm or gazing forward, whatever feels good for you. Hanging out here in our triangle. Three more breaths. Noticing how we feel. As we exhale forward, come into our runner's lunge, twisting that leg, <sighs> drop into our pyramid, come into our pyramid, straightening out that front leg, <sighs> feeling that stretch, coming back to that runner's lunge. As we walk our right foot to the edge of our yoga mat, bringing our right arm inside of that leg, preparing our bodies for lizard on the opposite side. We can stay here high up on our arms, and our back leg. If we want to go deeper in that lizard, we can drop that left knee if we choose. We can come down on our forearms. And again, if you have a yoga block, you can bring a yoga block in front of you, whatever feels good for you. Noticing how the deeper we go in this lizard, we can feel our hips open even more. Natural breaths. Noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes and allows us to go deeper into the pose. We're gonna hang out here for more breath. Two more breaths. Pushing our bodies out of that lizard. Coming back to our runner's lunge. Coming back to our pyramid. Folding or twisting our bodies forward to a wide-legged forward fold. We are back in our forward fold. Noticing how this forward fold, it's a counter stretch to the lizard poses we just did. Especially if we rock, if we rock our bodies from side to side, we'll notice how it relaxes our hips, our hip flexors, our inner thighs. If we choose, we can rock our body from side to side, or we can just simply hang out here in our wide-legged forward fold. Four more breaths. Exhale to half, forward fold. As we twist our body back forward into that pyramid, right legs forward, flowing back to our down dog. Coming into our dolphin, which is simply relaxing on our forearms. We are here in our dolphin here. Dolphin is like the down dog. We are on our forearms, kind of up on our tippy toes a little bit. Gazing back at our feet, tummy's nice and tight. And if you guys want to walk your feet closer to your body, you can. Noticing how your buttocks come higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares our mind and our bodies for a headstand. So noticing how this feels and notice how our lower arms, our forearms are really getting tired. You can feel the muscles working here. Four more breaths. Two 
more breath. As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose, our arms are extended in front of us if we choose, or we can bring our arms downward towards our feet in our child's pose. Nice, natural breaths, or maybe we can take a couple of deep, intentional breaths to relax and soothe. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. We're gonna spend seven breaths in our child's pose. As we stay in our child's pose, we walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch, simply moving our fingers forward as our bodies stay down, noticing how that stretches our body even more. As we slightly gaze up and do a couple of spinal waves, we are waving our bodies using our hands to push our torso forward and push our torso back. Noticing how this relaxes and decompresses our spinal cord. Allowing your body to feel like a snake moving, relaxing, decompressing. Three more breaths. As we find pause at our table and push our bodies back up to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet as we come to a three-legged dog right side. Maybe we can bend our right foot towards our left buttocks, opening up that hip if we're able. Otherwise, we can stay in that three-legged dog. And if this feels good for you, maybe we can flow into a wild thing, allowing our bodies to fall over, feeling our body stretch. Or we can stay in that down dog or puppy pose. Two more breaths, feeling that stretch. As we exhale out, coming back to our down dog. Three-legged dog, opposite side, left leg comes in the air nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Bending our left foot towards our right buttocks, opening up that hip. And if we choose, we can flow into a wild thing, only if we choose, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Working the body, noticing how we're building strength. Two more breaths. As we exhale out, coming back to down dog. <sighs> Dropping down to our dolphin, coming on our forearms, relaxing the body, walking our feet towards our torso. Dropping down to our knees. Bringing our torso closest, closer towards our thighs. We're gonna come into a puppy pose here. So walking our thighs closer towards our torso. Yes, our buttocks is higher in the air as our heart comes downward towards the earth. Maybe relaxing our forehead onto our yoga mat. Arms are extended in front of us. Noticing how this feels. Also noticing the difference between a puppy pose and a child's pose. They are very similar. We're gonna hang out here. Three more breaths. <sighs> 
slightly gazing forward as we wave our bodies back to our table. A couple of spinal waves till we get to our table. As we push our bodies back up to our down dog. Come into a forward fold. To a rag doll, hugging our elbows. Back to a complete forward fold. Exhale to a half forward fold. As we flow to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, palms are at our side. We are in our standing position. As we breathe our palms above our heads to our standing salute or our extended mountain. Exhale to prayer. Bending our knees, coming into a chair pose. Working our thighs. Building strength in our quads. In our quads. Three more breaths here. Two more breaths, working our bodies. Exhale, complete forward fold. <sighs> to half forward fold. Coming to Tadasana. Slightly lifting our left foot off the earth. Like a kickstand, we're gonna work on a tree pose here. Noticing how this feels. If this feels good, Maybe we can lift our foot off the earth. If we're able, noticing how our bodies are balancing here. If this feels good, maybe we can come all the way up in that tree pose. If we're able, bringing our palms to the side and our cactus hands, or we can just simply bring our palms above our head or prayer hands. Whatever tree pose stand that you choose to do, Maybe use the next couple of breaths to play around in our tree pose. Four more breaths. building strength and balance, bringing our arms into any tree pose stance that feels good for us. Four more breaths. Still breathing our palms above our heads in our standing salute. Exhale to prayer. Hinging at our hips. Flowing down to a complete forward fold. Feeling a stretch here. Maybe coming into a rag doll. Hugging our, grabbing our elbows with our hands. If we're able, maybe we can close our eyes in this pose. Two more breaths. Complete forward fold. 
as we walk our hands forward to our down dog. Coming into our high plank. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Tummies are nice and tight. Our abdominal muscles are engaged. We can come to a low plank if that feels better for us. As we flow to a side plank, we can be we can be high in our plank or we can be, yes, in a low side plank. Whatever feels good for you. We are working our obliques here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to plank, high or low. As we side plank, opposite side, high or low. <sighs> Working our obliques. Three more breaths. Exhale back to plank. <sighs> As we flow down to our chaturanga. Working our arms here. Come into our cobra. <sighs> Relaxing our shoulders away from our ears. Feeling this spinal bend. Exhale down to Spanx pose. Relaxing our bodies on our forearms. <sighs> Ensuring that our shoulders are not sunken down towards our ears. We want to be nice and tall here in our spanx. Noticing how this feels in our back. We're going to hang out here. Four more breaths. Allowing this pose to relax and regulate our heartbeat. Two more breaths. As we relax down on our tummies, bringing our arms forward, coming into a superman or a supergirl, our legs are off the earth. Our feet are off the earth, yes. So now we are flying, we are on our tummies, noticing how this feels. Superman, supergirl, building strength. As we swim my hands to the back, coming into a locust pose. Yes, hands are towards the back. Our chest comes higher off the earth. Our feet are still up in the air, noticing how this feels in our body. We are building strength in our spinal cord. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. If we wanna go deeper in this pose, we can go into a bow pose. We can start by our right side, bringing our right hand to our right ankle. We can go into that full bow if you choose. I see you guys already going there, yes. Okay, noticing how in our full bow, our chest comes even higher off the earth. Our backs, our spinal cords, we can feel this back then nice and deep here. <sighs> coming out of the pose whenever you choose, coming down to locust, coming down to rest pose, listening to your body, doing what feels good for you. For those who are still hanging out, three more breaths, either in bow pose, in locust pose, or Spanx pose or any pose you choose. <sighs> Exhaling out, swimming our arms back to the front, coming into a sleep rest pose, crossing our arms in front of us, palms are on top of each other, gazing our eyes down, allowing our shoulders to melt forward into the yoga mat. <sighs> Our forehead or our cheeks are resting on our hands. Eyes closed. Our heart rate is regulating. Our minds and bodies are relaxing. Four more breaths. Two 
few more breaths. As we slowly roll over to our backs, coming into a Shavasana just for a second. Once we're on our backs, we're gonna bring our knees to our chest, hugging our knees in to our chest. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs and bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling a stretch. Relaxing our legs back to legs on the wall pose or invisible wall in our case. Bringing our knees back in towards our chest. As we do a spinal twist, allowing our knees to fall to the left. Our right arm goes off to the side. As we gaze at that right arm or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels good for you. Maybe we can even close our eyes. Allow our shoulder blades to melt backwards into the yoga mat. Allowing our bodies to completely relax. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. Just for a second. As we recline spinal twist, opposite side. Knees fall to the right. Left arm goes out to the side. Gazing up or gazing over that left arm. Maybe with the down gaze to close eyes. Shoulder blades are melted back into the mat. As we find our bodies completely relaxed. Four more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. <sighs> Relaxing the body as we allow our feet to fall towards the earth. Our knees are up in the air. Feet are flat on the earth, knees are up in the air. Palms are next to our buttocks facing down. As we use our feet and our palms to push our bodies up to our bridge pose. Working on our gluteus maximus here. Maybe we can do a couple of bridge pose pulses if you choose. Noticing how that just adds a little bit more burn to your buttocks area, only if you choose. We also can have the option of bringing our hands underneath our buttocks and interlacing our fingers and walking our shoulder blades closer towards our spinal cord. Noticing how our hips and our chest comes higher in the air. We also get to feel the gluteus maximus burn even more, especially if we do the pulses here. 
And for anyone who wanna go deeper in this pose, we can do a three-legged bridge, starting with the either left or right side. I'ma start with my right side, lifting my right foot off the earth and relaxing my right foot on my left thigh. Noticing how that feels in our body. We are working our gluteus maximus. Slight back bend. Coming out of that pose, if you went into that pose and switching sides. And don't forget, you can also straighten out that leg if you choose. We're gonna hang out in our bridge pose, playing around, doing any bridge pose variation that feels good for you. Six more breaths. And let's not forget about the pauses, if we choose. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling that nice deep bridge pose here. Gluteus maximus, buns of still. Exhale down, relaxing the body, bringing the knees into the chest. Noticing how this pose relaxes the body. Natural breaths or deep breaths for me. <sighs> Feels good to take a nice deep breath. Maybe we can cross our feet at our ankles as we do a tummy crunch coming into a um, boat pose. <sighs> now we just worked our gluteus maximus. So now we're gonna work our abdominal muscles before we close off the session here today. So we are in our boat pose. We can keep our ankles crossed or we can bring our feet straight up or we can bring our legs completely up. May you do any boat pose variation that feels good for you. Noticing how this balances our body. Working our abdominal muscles. Six more breaths. Maybe we can rock our hands from side to side from each side of our waist. Now we are working our obliques. <sighs> Noticing how this feels in our body. <sighs> Making our waistline a little bit more smaller. We're gonna hang out here, five more breaths. Moving as slow or as fast as we choose. <sighs> Almost there, three more breaths. Finding our paws, bringing our feet up to our hands, connecting our feet to our hands, noticing how this relaxes the body. <sighs> yes, hanging out here for a second. Playing with your feet if you choose. Bringing our feet together into a bound position and coming down to that butterfly or that diamond pose. Noticing how this relax ensues as we do a couple of seated cat cows. Lifting our chin up towards the heavens, chest comes forward. We are in our cow. Exhale to our cat, back goes out to the back. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Two more seated cat cows. <sighs> As we use our hands to bring our legs in, we're gonna come back onto our backs, bringing our knees to our chest. <sighs> Allowing our feet to come up in the air, we're gonna come into a happy baby, bringing our hands inside of our legs, connecting our hands to our feet if we choose. <sighs> Maybe cracking our toe knuckles if we choose as well. And we are going to hang out and play in our happy baby for seven natural breaths. Doing anything we choose in this pose.
four more breaths. As we slowly bring our legs straight up in the air, legs on the wall pose, reaching down to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Exhale back to legs on the wall, bringing our knees to our chest. Allowing both legs to come down parallel side by side. We are in our Shavasana. Our legs are side by side. The heels of our feet are touching. As we allow our feet, our feet, our legs to fall towards the side like a V. Completely relaxing our legs. Our eyes are closed or gaze down. Our shoulder blades are melted backwards into our yoga mat. Our bodies feel relaxed. Our minds feel at ease. relaxing in our present moment. Ten breaths of silence. our eyes closed. Maybe we can roll on our side into a fetal position if we choose or we can stay on our backs in Shavasana. Whatever feels good for us.
as we slowly wiggle our toes and maybe rotate our ankles. Moving our bodies at our hips as we slowly awaken our bodies. Using our hands to push our bodies up to a seated pose. We can keep our eyes closed or gaze down if we choose. Or we can stay in our layer position as well. If we choose to come into a seated pose, may you come into any seated position of choice. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Thank you. 